renowned for its secrecy, Apple always keeps a tight lid on its upcoming product launches, leaving fans speculating and eagerly awaiting. That's why Apple's annual Worldwide Developers Conference, WWDC, has always been a highly anticipated event for tech enthusiasts. At present, everyone is wondering what fresh innovations emerged from WWDC 2023. Let's find out. Leading up to WWDC 2023, the conference has been buzzing with speculations about exciting new features for iOS, iPadOS, macOS, watchOS, and tvOS. While Apple tends to prioritize certain operating systems, the anticipated list of new features for these platforms seems relatively modest this year. It almost feels like Apple has been channeling its efforts into something different, a completely new product category, perhaps. Interesting, right? Be sure to view the entire video to gain the most amazing insight about Apple AR VR. I guarantee it is going to amaze you. iOS 17. iOS 17 was the star of the show, and it's no surprise considering how many iPhone users there are around the world. If you're using an iPhone that's not more than five years old, chances are you'll be able to upgrade to iOS 17 once it rolls out in fall 2023. Word on the street is that iOS 17 is primarily going to boost performance, but don't worry, it's not just about speed. We're also looking at improvements to the control center, dynamic island, and spotlight search. Not to mention upgraded versions of the camera and health apps. But hold up, before we get to the final version, we have to go through the beta testing stage. The big reveal of iOS 17 will happen at WWDC 2023. Right after that, developers, those registered ones only, will get the first taste with the developer beta. A few weeks later, a public beta will be up for grabs for anyone who's keen to check out the new features. But a word of caution, beta software can be a bit unstable and might even render your device useless. Over the next several months, the developer and public betas will be fine-tuned, fixed, and updated based on testing feedback until we have the polished and ready-for-everyone iOS 17.0. We're guessing it'll be out and about by September. iPad OS 17. iPad OS 17 is expected to roll out with pretty much all the goodies from iOS 17, but tailored for the big screen experience. You see, ever since Apple decided to give iPhones and iPads their own operating systems back in 2019, they've been similar for the most part. But it's clear that iPadOS is paving its own distinct path. Some of the exciting new features we're likely to see in iPadOS 17 include a customizable lock screen, a fan favorite in iOS 16, and other minor but important tweaks. However, there's a bit of a bummer the update will most likely stop supporting the first-generation iPad Pro, both the 9.7-inch and the 12.9-inch versions, and the fifth-generation iPad, which is kind of sad, right? Remember how in 2022, Apple released iPad OS 16 a month after iOS 16? That could happen again this year, meaning iOS 17 and iPad OS 17 might not hit the stage at the same time. Still, the anticipation is part of the fun, isn't it? Before we dive into the next awesome feature, hit that subscribe button on your channel to keep up with all the thrilling tech updates we've got coming your way. Mac OS 14. So what's next after Mac OS Ventura from Apple? The upcoming version is known as Mac OS 14, but what's still a mystery is the iconic California landmark it'll be named after. Remember how we journeyed through Mavericks, Yosemite, El Capitan, Sierra, High Sierra, Mojave, Catalina, Big Sur, Monterey, and Ventura? This time around, Mac OS 14 will focus more on refining the system rather than introducing flashy new features. And so Apple might pick a name from a location close to Ventura. Going by the trademarks Apple has filed, Mac OS Rincon or Skyline seem to be in the running. Exciting, isn't it? Watch OS 10. 
Apparently, they're unveiling a new operating system for their Apple Watch. Now, it's not as big as their updates for iPhone, iPad, or Mac, but it still packs a punch, especially if you're into health and fitness stuff. Remember Mark Gurman? Back in April, he mentioned that watchOS 10 is going to look quite different, with significant changes to its interface. And it's shaping up to be a massive update. Here's an interesting bit. Last year, if you had a Series 4 or anything newer, you could update to watchOS 9. We're crossing our fingers and hoping it's going to be the same deal with watchOS 10. So if you've got a Series 4 or later, you might be in luck. TVOS 17. It's one of Apple's big five operating systems, but it doesn't really hog the limelight like the others. It's the magic that makes your Apple TV work. Though the last big update, tvOS 16, was a game changer, literally. It brought in support for Matter-compatible devices and opened up the doors to more gaming controllers. That was super cool, wasn't it? Now, the big question is, what's extra Apple going to pull out of its hat this year for tvOS? HomePod Software Version 17. Looks like Apple isn't stopping at just the watch and TV. They're also updating the software for the HomePod and HomePod Mini. Remember last year's update? It was the HomePod Software Version 16. And honestly, it didn't come with a lot of bells and whistles at first. But hang on, they pulled a rabbit out of the hat with a later update. HomePod Software Version 16.3, which actually introduced some pretty nifty features like temperature and humidity sensing for the HomePod Mini. Apple is creating up some significant changes for the HomePod in 2024. Exciting times, huh? Mac Pro. It's been a while since Apple first revealed its intention to switch from Intel to its own silicon. And the Mac Pro is the only Mac that hasn't made the transition yet. However, there's a good chance we might see a new Mac Pro at this year's WWDC event, just like the previous models were unveiled there. Rumors suggest that the upcoming Mac Pro might feature an M2 Ultra processor and maintain a similar design to the current model. Mac Studio. Apple is gearing up to unleash the highly anticipated M2 Ultra along with an exhilarating processor refresh for the beloved Mac Studio. While the core features of the machine are expected to remain unchanged, thrilling updates in the form of top-of-the-line RAM and storage options are poised to take users' experiences to new heights. Are you ready for a dazzling performance boost that'll revolutionize the way you work and create on the Mac Studio? 15-inch MacBook Air. Apple this time gave a potential surprise, a larger version of the beloved MacBook Air with a generous 15-inch display. How exciting is that? While the details about this new MacBook Air are still a bit hazy, we can expect it to bear a striking resemblance to the current model. Picture the sleek and lightweight design that we all know and love. But here's the intriguing twist. It might come equipped with a powerful M2 Pro chip taking its performance to new heights. And finally, the Reality Pro headset. After years of speculation and anticipation, Apple is prepared for the launch of its groundbreaking AR VR headset in 2023. This revolutionary device, carrying a hefty price tag, is said to be primarily targeted towards developers, making the WWDC event the perfect stage for Apple to introduce this highly anticipated creation even if its official release is scheduled for later in the year. Picture a sleek pair of ski goggles with mind-blowing 8K displays, an array of cameras, and an external battery pack. Yes, we're talking serious tech here, folks, and it's rumored to come with a price tag that could surpass $3,000. The significance of this launch cannot be overstated as Apple is venturing beyond the realm of iPhones and diving headfirst into a whole new category of wearable devices. Brace yourself for an entirely new platform of apps and services, carefully tailored to deliver an immersive experience like never before. If it holds true and the headset sees the light of day, a key focus of the presentation will undoubtedly be the much speculated XROS, Extended Reality OS. 
Apple is expected to dive deep into its features, developer tools, and strategies, showcasing how this operating system will revolutionize the realms of entertainment and communication. In fact, some keen observers even spotted a tantalizing clue on Apple's WWDC website, where an animation showcased the Swift logo transitioning from 2D to 3D, leading many to believe that this is a subtle hint teasing the imminent showcase of the highly anticipated headset. As we can see, exciting times are ahead in the world of Apple. Now, we want to hear from you. About what features are you most excited about? Share your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe to our channel to stay tuned for the electrifying updates coming your way.